At least 165 Palestinian journalists have been killed since the Israel-Hamas war began in October 2023. As much of the Gaza Strip is now lying in ruins, reporters are working hard to try and capture the scale of destruction. The best view is from above, but sending up a drone in this region is fraught with danger. Alongside our partners, Bellingcat has continued to map and show the scale of destruction in Gaza. High resolution satellite imagery such as that from Planet Labs remains one of the most accessible ways to observe destruction in Rafah, which borders Egypt. Let's take a look at this eastern neighborhood in Rafah's Tal es Sultan. This is what it looked like on July 17th, 2024, before the IDF operation in that area. And here we see the same neighborhood a week later on July 27th. And now here's an image of the same neighborhood, captured after the ceasefire on January 30th, 2025. The few remaining buildings in the Tal es Sultan neighborhood we examined in the July imagery have been completely razed. The small village of Alkaria Aswidia, or the Swedish village on the coast, was wiped out completely in June 2024. It then appeared to become a staging area for IDF troops. January 2025 imagery shows a communications pylon has been set up and IDF vehicles continue to park there. The Brazil refugee camp and the wider Al Salam neighborhood in South Rafa followed a similar pattern of destruction. Now, the few remaining buildings in the Al Salam neighborhood have been almost completely demolished, and there's been even more destruction in nearby neighborhoods. 